In this tutorial, you'll learn how to export a video project from your timeline to the file format, resolution, and frame rate of your choice. You'll also learn how to export your video as a format specifically for social media sites such as YouTube. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. So I'm in Pinnacle Studio and I've got my finished video on my timeline that I'm ready to export. The first thing we have to do is click on the Export tab. This will open up the exporter. On the right, we can click on the play button to preview our video one last time before exporting. And on the left, we first have to choose to export either to file or to disk. Choosing the file option means you can create a new video file that you can view on your computer, upload to a website, or transfer to a flash drive. Choosing the disk option means you can burn your video or project onto a DVD or Blu-ray disk. For this project, I want to export it to a new file, so I'll click on File. Now under Destination, click on the folder icon to select the file destination where you want to save the new exported file on your computer. Next, change your file name. And under this, we have a drop-down arrow we can click beside After Export Actions. Here, there are a number of options we can click to take place instantly after the file finishes exporting. You can select to sound audio alarm, so an alarm alerts you when the export is finished. You can also choose to click shut down PC after the file finishes exporting, which is especially useful if you are exporting a very large file. I'm just going to select open in Windows Explorer so the file will be ready for me to preview once it's done exporting and I don't have to open up the file folder manually. Now, if I don't want to manually select which format I want to export as, I can just click on Same as Timeline, which will export the file using the same settings used on the timeline. But I'm going to uncheck this so I can show you some other options you have if you want to manually select your format output. So we have Format selected from this drop-down menu on the left and we can click on the drop-down menu on the right to see all the different file formats we can choose to export as. You can also choose to export according to file extension. So go back to the drop-down menu on the left and click Extension. Then you can click on the drop-down menu to the right and select which extension you want. So if you need to create an MP4 file or AVI, you can select that here. Then underneath, you can select a preset, which will determine the quality and size of the file. So if you want an HD quality file or even 4K, you can select that here. You can also choose to export as a file for a specific device. So here, if we select Apple under the preset menu, we can select to export as a file to watch on your iPad or iPhone. Lastly, we can select Web and choose to export as a new file for YouTube, Vimeo, or Box. So for this video, I'm going to go back and click on Format. And I'm going to select HD 1080p as my preset. Once I do this, you'll see that all the video and audio specs have been locked in. Now let's say I want to change something here because I have really specific export requirements. I can click on this Customize icon to the right. From here, I can change the video size or make any other needed adjustments. You can also save all your custom changes as a new preset by clicking this icon on the far right. And that way, it'll be easy to export all your future videos with the same custom preset that you'll then find under the Preset drop-down menu. So now let's say I want to export just a small portion of my video to preview what it will look like once I export the entire thing. To do that, I can go to the Preview pane and then drag the little playhead to a point in the video where I want to start my export. Then I'll click on this little icon that says Mark In. Now I'll drag my playhead to an ending point and click the Mark Out button. Now if I were to click Start Export, it would only export this small section of video to my new file. 
but I want to export the entire video, so I'm going to click the clear mark in mark out icon. And now if you're happy with all your settings, click on start export to export your project as a new file. And once the file has exported, you can click to open your exported file in the file location in Windows Explorer or preview it in Windows Media Player or with QuickTime. And it's just that easy to export your videos for any device or as any format you need. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.